Hello everybody, I'm on the test server testing with the overlord and I made a growth deck here. Um just sec. Two two drops, so I'll sack the sister of the fox for the brave. So um in this deck I put in culling the flocks, striped fang bears, um it's unground. Those are three new cards. We're not testing Seed of Insurgency or that one that gives you three health when untainted yet. Alright, so now we're gonna go for I think Racking is probably going to be better than Stripe Fang Bear versus, versus Order because Order doesn't have much removal. But I want to test Stripe Fang Bear, so I'll keep that. Five, six. Oh, actually, um, I think we have to lower this because I think in my videos it sounds really loud. The SFX. So let's try that. Let's try rolling the music too. Let's go with the SFX down to. 10% music down to 5%. Alright, well, can't even hear the music anymore. Alright, we got Calling the Flock. That's what Calling the Flock does. Now. Um. I'm going to sack Calling the Flock. I only, I'm only going to have one beast right now on the, on the field. And I'm going to run away. And I'll put the Fang Bear in front because it has 5 health. Look at that thing. You never get to see how nice uh, the artist made these guys' feet. Everybody's clicking the control. The artist can literally just like make the feet unfinished and nobody would notice. So he's testing out orders, so I assume he's testing out like the new Gallant Defender, maybe uh, maybe a Soldier's Bond. Some of those new cards are cool. Waking Stones. Alright, it's going to be annoying for me to get through that. Unground. Oh, we, we have removal now. Not enough removal. We unground like something. It will help. Um, let's go. I probably should sack the unground for resources, but I want to play it soon because I want to uh, see it in action. So I'll go ahead and destroy the waking stones so that next turn I have this fangs very attacking, and if he runs away, I could use unground and deal two damage to something. So if I played on ground last turn, on if I played on ground on this guy last turn, then he would take two damage because I had the breaker attacking an idol um, for three. So that means he would just take one because that's rounded down, and then the this guy rounded down to one also. Not rounded down. That guy's just uh, just just a. Uh, Divide by two. Alright, so I think we can kill this guy with Unground now, and we don't have to face the spikies. So, that's fun. Um, yay! I like that card. I think it's gonna be pretty decent. Alright, so I guess we'll sack the mage next turn for cards most likely. So unground. This is growth's best form of removal right now. Like besides Quick. And Frosco. So this Fang Bear is 4 2 5 when a human in, on your opponent's side is on the field. And he's a 1 2 5 when it's not. So this guy is really good. I 
I feel like he's going to get nerfed a little bit on this SRV. He's just so good. Maybe like a health lower by one or attack. Gallant Defender. So I have four units. He's three units. So right now this guy has armor two. So I'm not breaking through that thing. I'll sack the Mangy Wolf though. I want another unground. I only put two in the deck. Maybe I should have three. Uh, I'm not going to waste any time hitting that Gallant Defender. Like you can think of that as a wing shield four health well actually if I if I crimson bowl I can get through the gallant defender with this guy and then have him hit yeah I think I'll crimson bowl calling the flock I only have one piece so yeah I'll crimson bowl may not be the best play but I gotta get, I gotta somehow get through these defenses. So, we can like sacrifice this thing there and get plus four attack everywhere. So, the things I took out for uh, those three cards the fang bear, the um, calling the flock, and the uh, unground were. That's annoying. The things I took out, or uh, I can kill it right here. Um, ancestral totem I took out, quake I took out, and I took out um, something else. I'm trying to remember. I put in. Oh yeah, and regular. Oh yeah, also in the sick is uh, vengeful vetter, and I put that in for regular vetter. You'll see vengeful vengeful vetter when it comes up. It's quite cool. All right, we're gonna keep that unground because I like the unground. Um. Crimson bowl. I'll save the crimson bowl. I think next turn it's gonna be nice to crimson bowl or something. So I'm just going to take down the idol. Now next this turn I can crimson bowl on ground and do some fun things. So let's see. This guy's are relentless, so. I just don't he He's not relentless when there's no human. Oh, that's interesting. So you're not going to be able to buff this guy up like when he, there's no human on the other side and expect it to be relentless. Alright. Yeah, so this guy, he's the opponent usually has opponent on the field. And if the opponent doesn't, it means you're probably already ahead because you like cleared his ward or something. So it's usually going to be a 4-2-5 for 4, relentless. And that and a beast, which has synergy with Colony Flock. And, uh... That's just like a ducal skirmisher, but we'll plus one attack, plus one health. Waking stones. So we're gonna need a unground on this. We take five idle hits. That's gonna be annoying. So I'll put it on you. Well, it takes damage. I th is that, it's not combat damage, so I think it will die quite easily. Uh, hmm. I think I'll ragged crimson. And then unground you. So now I'll go like that. And I'm not going to move this guy down so we can check this idol next turn. Because um, I have a rally anyways, so I should be able to win. And he puts a human down. This guy's going to have four attack. 
Okay. Tuchel Spearman. All right. If he just says that, CG. Ground strength. It is not GG. It's almost GG. Uh, if I rally, I would. Yeah, I would, couldn't. I couldn't. I would use all three units to try to get through that thing. Um. Well, we don't have enough for rally crimson. I could do ragged wolf crimson up here. I'm not going to. I'll. I need more resources to get to that god hand, so I may as well get this vengeful vetter down. And a breaker. That's what vengeful vetter does. Village means when it attacks an idol. So I'll be able to get lots of growth. Alright, so next turn we should be doing the old rally. Because now he has to protect this top idol also. Or I'll just Crimson Bull and get through this and show that idol. So it's probably very hard for him to protect both idols, so I think it's GG now. And he could be putting down a Gallant Defender, that would screw up my plans, but probably only for one extra turn. See what the Overlord has up his sleeve. Righteous Partisan. Look at that guy. Six attack. Alright. That's what he does. He's less uh, he's less even to me, so that means he's a six two two, not a two two two. Decent. I don't know how he's gonna do in regular formats, but that's GG. Can we have a fancier way of GGing this thing? No, we don't. Alright, well. And we're good. The soldier's bond went off, so blessing faced him. Alright. Fun little match. And so here is the deck I was using if you want to see the deck. Um, still don't see what I took out. Regular Vetter, uh, Quake, um, oh, Fertile Soil I took out. I don't know about Fertile Soil. It's pretty funny how Quake and Frostor were like rank so high on my top 10 growth scrolls, and they're just so easy to take out of the deck because they're not really creatures, so they're really not hugely necessary. So yeah. So uh, I um, or uh, yeah, let's make let's do another match. Let's use the same deck. Let's play one more time. Should we use the mulligan? Now we have good starting hand. Is we can go brave. Brave turn two means good starting hand. And hopefully we can get a sister of the fox or breaker to also play. Or vengeful vetter. Yeah, that reminds me. There was a update in the test server. So now it remembers that you clicked control last time. So, that's pretty cool. Um, you won't have to press control every match anymore. Uh, I'll sack the Sister of the Owl because I could stay at like four resources here and kind of get more control. And I love that on ground, so I think I'm going to try to keep it. It could really be used as a lot of removal. Great Wolf. Alright, fine. I'll sack the ungraft. Alright. 
So I think I'm gonna play the striped fanger because striped fanger is probably really good against order because order uh, has all humans. Uh, I'll get rid of the brother wolf because then I can go mangy wolf. I usually get a better breaker, not usually, but I get it often in ranked. It's nice. When I get that great start where you have a couple vetters, you got the Braves, you got the Sisters, you got the Breakers, and then you have some like Rat Kings for turn four. That's the best. Um, calling the flock. I am getting towards the beast now, but I'll sack it because I like this Great Wolf and Mangy Wolf. Um, so now hopefully my stuff doesn't die. I probably should have put the Great Wolf in front because this guy probably going to be more valuable for now. Because this guy with a Mangy Wolf is just going to be the same 4, 2, 5 as this guy. But he has the power to be buffed up though. Alright. No. Not him. Alright. I'll sack the ventral letter because I want to do that mangy wolf this turn, I think. You know what? I actually don't think I need to do the mangy wolf this turn. Or actually, I do. So I can kill it. But now he's open to a kinfolk veteran hit. But he has that four health spiky guy in front, so I won't be able to get through that. So in all likelihood, if he doesn't have anything open for me to kill, I'll just brace the impact of uh, those guys attacking and play a Striped Fang there. Gallant Defender. Okay, yeah, we're not... Maybe I wish I had those uh, ungrounds back. Well, I can go Crimson Bowl and have some fun. You know what? I'll sack the veteran. I want to keep that Crimson Bowl. Okay. And you're gonna go two and three. I think what I'm going to do I put you farther back this time. Next turn I can go Crimson Bowl and Culling the Flock. So that could mean I could give plus six attack to this great wolf and plus six attack to this major wolf because Crimson Bull would make this guy have six attack and then I could sacrifice him. Well, it's if he doesn't destroy this guy. But I feel like he's going to want to destroy the brave more. <laughs> or not. Well, there's that. That's a way of killing my guys. And a Wicking Stones. Alright, I don't have quakes, I have to remember. So, that could be a problem. Alright, now I could go for. I could go for plus six right now on him. But, I don't think I want to. I'll sack the Brother the Wolf. Get a rally. It's not what I really wanted to see. Um, I think I'll Crimson Bull Breaker. And now I hope he doesn't have something that can kill these guys. Probably should have positioned better and put that bear in the back now. That is one health. Alright. And let's see. Wing shield. Alright. 
so now I could I can't do much I have calling a flock Vetter's not a beast so I can't do it on that guy rally um I'm going to sacrifice the breaker get a ragged and a veteran I'm just gonna play the veteran all right so now he hopefully does not have another blessing of haste or speed so that would allow him to kill my veteran and my striped fang bear huh. without my quakes I want to keep control of the board as hard as I can so I'm gonna keep going at it with his row of units versus my row of units I'm not gonna like shy away and then just wait for a quake because I don't have quakes I kept throwing around calling the flock so I could sacrifice that bear and give that wolf seven attack. So it would be nice if he didn't kill the bear. Hmm. I could actually give the wolf plus four attack because I can put down a ragged, which would give the great wolf four attack because it gets one attack for every wolf. Okay. Good, didn't have blessing. But I'm not gonna get through that thing. No way I'm getting through that waking stones. Um I guess sack the ventral better. Unground maybe? Nah, we didn't get an unground. Uh hmm. I'm going to move you out of the way and you out of the way and just play Great Wolf. Uh, you don't have fewer units than me, so I should be able to kill you because you have no armor right now. Because we both have four units. So it says fewer, it doesn't say fewer or the same. Yeah, alright, that worked as it should have. So, I have a Rally, I have a Ragged Wolf, I have a Crimson Bull, I have a Calling the Flock. But that Waking Stones is going to be a problem, but I'll have to move out of the Waking Stones to hit my Great Wolf now. So, let's see. So you have to realize calling the flock can be used on things that aren't attacking that turn. So it's pretty cool. And a couple rallies. Should probably get more resources now. I've been like staying on four or five resources the past two games. And I shouldn't. Alright, he's getting all the spikies out annoying but I guess that's what it has to, have to do and all right I think I'll just I think I'll just crimson bull well calling the flock would heal my guys up actually so I'm going to do that I'm gonna have calling the flock that takes three so then I have two left over Yeah, and calling the flock would actually uh better than Crimson Bull because it would only do um it would do exactly how much damage I need to do. Alright. Just sack for cards in case. Alright, good, we got eventual letter too. So now they're all healed up. I'll put you there. I'll move you down, you there. 
And I'll get this Venture Letter up top, so if he goes unchecked, I'll just have more growth. Wait. Oh. No, I thought this guy wouldn't take any spaggy. Whatever. That sucks. For some reason, I thought he wasn't going to take any spiky damage. So now he's just going to die to the skirmisher. Whoops. Maybe the Kong Fox wasn't powerful enough for attack. Maybe I should have Crimson Bolt. Uh. Alright, well, as long as that Waking Soul's there, it's going to take a while for me to break down that. But I have three big Relentless guys. This one will probably die this turn. This guy's going to start getting more growth. I have another Stripped Fang Bear in my hand. And. Okay, both these guys are attacking, and I have a Crimson Bolt. Speed. Okay, that's annoying. Oh no! Yay! You have three because we tied for uh, three units. So this guy gets the same. He, he, he thought he would get six attack, but when he killed the Fang Bear, I have three units and he has three units. So it wouldn't do that. So, uh. That was fun. Um. So now I will. Sacrifice the sister. I probably shouldn't be sacrificing all the sisters of the owls. But now I can rally Crimson next turn. Which. Uh, probably can't win me the game, but it could make me come close. Or GG. So. That was fun. So growth is good. It was already good, and now it's even better with those cards. An order got some little cool cards, but I don't think it's going to enough to be suppressing the power of growth and the new power of energy and all that. So, uh, I think I'll make some more tester videos in the future, um, because I like testing these new cards, especially when the new, the next set of 28 comes out. I think I might want to put three undergrounds in my deck, because they are pretty cool. So I thank you all for watching, subscribe if you want more, leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.